Man, Lord bless me with a good sunset, a good sandy. Uh, we got a nice line puller here, Viking head. Sunset's about to go away. It's my first fish of the day. Sandra. All right, first fish of the day. Caught on a Viking head. I'm sure you are using here. We just got a half ounce Viking head with a momentum five inch. Everybody knows I like to fish red, brown. We got a packed house at the Santa Monica Pier. Let's see if we can give them a show. Oh, we might get our feet wet here. Yeah. this tea here just really quickly I want to apologize about the image quality it does get darker I was testing out a new camera and I thought you know everything was good it looked good from the camera screen but now I realize that maybe I could have used more lighting it is what it is it's all a learning curve for me but if you like this type of content where I just go out and fish and talk about my experience I'll gladly make more for you and hopefully in the future I can take some of you guys out nonetheless like and subscribe if you do like this comment let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below I'll check back with you in a bit <laughs> calico. All right, calico on top, sandies on bottom, typical. Let's see where the big ones are at. Might have to fish deep for a big one. Oh. Calico on top. Oh. Thank you, sir. It's so hard to keep this boat in this spot, make a cast with this swell. Oh man, it feels good to be back out though. This is pretty gnarly. Oh. Come on, take it. Come on. Come on. Dude, it is just getting clobbered. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh. oh man, we'll go for a big one here, but I'm having a good time with this light line stuff and Small calico. <laughs> I don't mind these calico for a bit. I think you gotta catch like 20 of those calico to hit a four or five pounder maybe. I don't care. I'm <laughs> we just out here, we're having a good time. Come on, get it, get it, <laughs> yeah, he's a little guy, it's like bite, 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 oh. Yeah. Oh. man, this is gnarly, relax little guy, <laughs> no little, we playing checkers, I want to play chess here in a bit, but I don't care, man, I'm having a good time.
Then when I lose this bait, if I lose this bait, I'll switch up. We'll fish. We'll fish a little deeper. We're losing light. <laughs> Oh, that was a bite. Oh, come on, get it. Here's this airplane. Oh. <laughs> I could do this all night, but I only got like another hour and a half to be able to fish. Ugh. Oh, this guy choked this one. Here we go, save this little ass. It's crazy, you catch one fish, you get blown off the spot real quick. Ugh. Ugh, come on. <laughs> The little guys are killing me. Come on, just eat it. All right, we're going to go a little deeper. Just a little deeper. Just couldn't even make it to the bottom. Sand bass, middle column. Ugh. All right, guys, she's it. <laughs> Sand bass. So we're getting a nibble by all the calico. Sand bass is like, I want to play. That sand bass was high off the bottom, though. I think maybe if we can make it all the way to the bottom, like 25 or 35, somewhere around there, this spot, we may be able to crack a good one. Let's see. But that last cast, the calico were nibbling on it as soon as, as, soon as it sank a little bit, so. It's already getting bit. Already getting bit. <laughs> yeah, it's not going to make it to the bottom. <laughs> Oh. The better calico though. Uh, better calico. Saint Viking head, half ounce, killing it right now. Well, they want red. <laughs> yeah. The line's all hooked up on the gill. There you go. People at the pier cheering. <laughs> They're cheering me on. All right. Come on, get down there. Get down there. I know the calico on top. The little calico, at least. <laughs> These little guys are nuts. Little guy, I ruined my plastic. And that swell is not dying down at all. Jesus, we're running out of light, guys. That's a. Uh, oh, <laughs> oh, this for sure is a sand bass. Try to creep it to the bottom. I couldn't even do that. Ugh. Oh no, it's a calico. It's a good calico. <sighs> Finally snagged. Yeah, I got snagged, got it out. 
and it was one looking at it the whole time. <laughs> that was cool. That was cool. Oh. <laughs> oh, this one's dark, dark too. She lives in that rock. That was cool. Oh, chompers. I know you guys can't really see it because it's dark, but this fish saved this Viking head. I'm gonna go ahead and get some lights up. All right, we got a three quarter ounce Viking head with a six inch trailer, 794 with a Corrado 300. I think I got 25 pound tied on. The swell is getting worse. The wind is picking up. I'm just glad to be out. We crushed the small ones earlier, but I want to fish a lot deeper. Maybe we can entice a bigger one. Ugh, bit but on the top, so it's gonna be a small calico. It's crazy, it's a six inch swim bait, and it's a, a big body profile swim bait, and this tiny calico. <laughs> this tiny calico. That's wild to me, man. <laughs> it's go crazy. All right, I'm gonna try to, I like to walk my bait down the rock because if I just try to cast in the deep end, it's gonna get pushed away from the structure. So it's a matter of getting through the smaller grade stuff. And that's a challenge in itself sometimes. Not a bad problem to have catching small ones, I tell you that much, but when you do cast a heavier lure on top, and you try to walk it down, you run the risk of snagging. It's like, yeah, what, what can you do? <laughs> Not a bad problem to have that you're getting bit. I saw a squid, so I'm putting this swim bait that has like a squid color versus just using red, brown, like I normally do. Like, this is my favorite pattern. Oh my gosh, sea legs, sea legs. That one I cast deeper, I didn't even really feel rock. I might get snagged on this one for sure. Yep, I knew it. Oh man, I knew it. Well, luckily the Viking head comes out of cover pretty good. And as soon as I said something, snaggaroo. Man, it's so gnarly right here. Man, I don't want to lose this, but oh yeah, this, this one's gone. This one's toast. I knew it once I made the cast. I knew it. Got it out. These Viking heads go through structure really well, man. That's crazy. Man, I went through that structure, but it bent the hook out. Nothing I can do about that one. Uh, the things we do for fish, Jesus. <laughs> got bit in the swell. Little guy. Little guys are active on top, but we want a big one. Little guy. Oh, snagged. Came out. Snagged. 
the gun. That's what we get. We're gonna troll around. It's gonna get real bumpy doing this, but do what we gotta do to get bit. <laughs> I was turning the boat while I was setting the hook. A lot more difficult than it looks. Sorry, relax, guy. Oh, you got sharp teeth. Ugh. There you go. 794 Viking Head, six inch trailer. That's like three tacos right there. Get big, son. The Viking Head don't want to get stuck. Hey, how are you going to make money, bro, if they don't get stuck? <laughs> yeah, I'm fishing in some gnarly right now. See that? See what I got to go through? Just catch a little fish. Ah. Come on, you're going to take it, take it. I like getting short bit because they miss, they miss. A bigger one gets jealous and they could work like that. Has worked like that in the past for me. Little guy, dude. <laughs> Jesus. Where are the big ones at? Oh, the guy's too small to be eating this six inch bait. So I'm gonna try to go deeper faster. We got a Dolan's bait, this is a slug with a one ounce Viking head swing jig head. Check drag, we good. Oh, first cast. <laughs> Same thing, small guys on top. I can't even get to the bottom. catch a hundred of these today before we get a big one but it will happen <laughs> there's a little calico in that <laughs> it's crazy these fish see ya all right we'll try to go deeper this time in the cast go wrong tonight with these little ones. I want a big one though. It's been a while since I came out here. I'm thinking these big ones are like pushed up off the wall somewhere. <laughs> We're gonna try to go deeper deeper this time. guy wants to be big. Little guy wants to be big. <laughs> oh man. 
slightly bigger than the other one. Slightly. Not by much, though. <laughs> Man, I like these Dolan Bates plastics. They're not. This swing jig head with that Dolan's Bates slug. I like it. As soon as I came over that. Couldn't even pop it off the rock. He was already on it. Whoa. Check out the colors on this calico. That's a nice looking fish right there. Dark boy, what are you doing outside your cave? Nice looking calico. Get big, son. <sighs> Little guy. night. wide open with these little guys. That was a bomb cast too. So they're loaded over there. Open wide, honey. And I am grinding this lead head into the rock. Like grinding, grinding. Just pop, pop. Oh, all right, finally, a better one. It feels like a sand bass. Finally, a better one. We were grinding deep. Algo or Sandy? It's gotta be a sand bass how deep I was fishing. <laughs> sand -a bass. Man, these things are gnarly today. Mmm, that hurts so good. Oh, she's bleeding. On the Viking head with a Dolan slug. The tug is a drug. Here you go, guys. This fish right here. It's a 804 mod, Lexa 300. Nice Sandra out deep. I was fishing deep, deep. So she's a nice one. We want to get bigger. This is still a nice one. Let her go. Usually, this time of the year, you won't get a wide open bite like that. 
And if it's good right now, I can only imagine how the summer and the fall is going to be this year in 2024. And I'm really excited for it. On this particular trip, I didn't have really any expectations. I was hoping that maybe we can crack a couple. I didn't want to travel too far and waste a lot of gas looking at isolated stone or flats or man-made structure. I just stuck to one area and then fished it. I knew there's a bunch of things I could have did to try to entice a bigger one. But once I got in that groove of just catching fish, catching fish, nothing else really mattered. I had a really good time. And if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe. That helps me out a ton. And if you had any thoughts or any ideas or you want to see me do something, just comment that down in the comment section below. As always, I appreciate you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. And don't count your blessings. Pass them. It's not about what you got. It's about what you give. And if everybody gave just a little, whether it be your time or money, I think this world would be a better place for not only us, but for our children in the future. Appreciate you guys. See you in the next one.